Hello folks, this is 2017 May, uh, February, March, uh, paper 42 and the question number is 8. The first question says that, uh, state what is mean by a magnetic field. So this is actually the area up to which the effect of a magnet can be felt. And the effect could be uh, because of uh, a magnet or because of a pole of a magnet or because of uh, a current carrying conductor. Conductor which could be in the shape of a coil or a straight conductor or or simple a solenoid as well and also it will be because of some moving charged body or simply moving charge now just number, question number b it says that a particle of charge q plus q and mass m is traveling in a vacuum with speed v so like traveling like this the particle enters at a right angle a uniform magnetic field so here we have a region where there is a uniform magnetic field here as shown in figure 8.1 the particle leaves the field after following a semicircular path of diameter d. So it follows a semicircle and then leaves it. State the direction of the magnetic field. So we have to state the direction of the magnetic field. So, so, so. This requires that we apply the Fleming's uh, uh, left hand rule actually. So first let us, uh, uh, let us uh, show the direction of the charged particle. So it is the the direction of charged particle is like this. Like this. Now since it takes this circle, it takes this circle the force here was in this direction force was this so i have to twist like this so the force should be like this so like this so more and the force like this so if it goes like this then 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 the magnetic field will be going up like this so if i do like this like this you can see the 3d here 3d so the magnetic field should be coming like this in this direction so 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 what i can write here is what i can write here is the magnetic field was it was uh, away from away from the plane of the sheet from the plane of the sheet of the sheet sheet or i can also say i say towards the observer so since we observe from here the magnetic field was like this so that's why it is towards the observer now, in number two, explain why the speed of the particles is not affected by the magnetic field. So, what, what, why this happens is, the velocity was there, but the force was in this direction. Velocity in this direction, but force was in this direction. So, that means the force and velocity are perpendicular. Are perpendicular, which means that uh, uh, since F and V perpendicular, perpendicular, this also makes, this also makes, 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 the acceleration and v perpendicular to each other perpendicular to each other so that's why this acceleration has no effect on this v this a has no effect on the value of this v so that's why the v remains constant the v remains constant and this is also a case of a circular motion so in circular motion uh, the acceleration has no effect on v on the value of v and uh, v does not change there so now, uh, we have to show the diameter d of the semicircular path, diameter d, uh, is given by the expression somewhat like this. So what happens is, here we have Lorentz force here, force Lorentz. The Lorentz force on the charged body is equal to b into q into v and a sine of 90 degree. 90 degree because uh, this is the direction of the charged particle and the force here, so it's 90 degree. That's equal to b q into v. And this put, uh, and here we have a central force as well since it moves in a circle. So Fc is equal to mv square by r. Now what happens is this force is responsible to create this. Or this force is fully used to create this. So that's why we must have Fl is equal to equal to Fc, which gives us BQV is equal to mv square by r. So V and V cancel. This R is equal to diameter by 2. So MV diameter by 2. So therefore, 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 the diameter is equal to 2MV divided B into Q. So B into Q, which is the required expression as given by the question. So this is the required expression here. Now, the last question, what you have is, use the expression, expression in B3, B3 is just what we have done here, B3, D equal to 2MV by BQ. Uh, to show that the time T spent, the time T spent in the field by the particle is 
independent of the speed so you have to find the time t spent in the field is independent of the velocity v so what we have here is the motion of the body was just like this from here to here from here to here so the distance that the particle has traveled here is the distance travel is equal to let us say this is a s s is equal to half of the circumference the, the, the this distance is half of the circumference so that's equal to c by 2 and that's equal to pi d by 2 distance is this much now uh, we have to find the time here time here so this is t uh, something symbol here i'm not sure of the symbol but uh, let's say it's t this t is equal to displacement by velocity distance by velocity and distance is uh, somewhat here so it is equal to pi d by 2 v and what we just got from the previous number was number was this d is equal to 2 mv by bq so that's equal to pi by 2 v d is equal to 2 mv by bq so v and v cancel this uh, 2 and 2 cancel so what remains here is pi m by b q so this time is equal to pi m by bq and this thing does not have velocity this thing does not have velocity or the speed v so that's why that's why t is independent of t is independent independent of the speed v with which the particle enters here uh, so this is the, this is how we prove this condition